Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance. First time joining in a while. <clears throat> Hope everybody's uh, quarantine is going uh, going well. Everybody having a, a good old time with this. Uh, for those of you wondering what happened again, um, two Sundays ago, woke up with both my uh, feet and ankles swelling, swollen, toes swollen. I've been having like this, this itching in my lower legs and my calves and my feet for a while. And I like just poof, like two loaves of bread. And I don't want to go to the doctor or go to the hospital because, you know, coronavirus or whatever. It's called one of those online doctors. Told them, yeah, this usually happens when I get too out of weight, overweight, and too much eating. It's like, is that what's been happening? It's like, that's what's been happening lately? He's like, yeah, he goes. It's like, I would say you're diabetic. It's like, unless you, uh, unless you change your diet real quick, you better, uh, you know, you better make some life changes, which I pretty much kind of already knew. Well, it's taken about a week and a half for the, not even my feet to go back to normal because they're still swollen for me to even be able to get up and walk on them. So, me and uh, Charlene over here decided she's going to walk me to the county that's around the park until I get my act together again. So... That's what's up with that. It's a beautiful day in Florida anyway, so... Nice place to be. Get out. Keep your quote-unquote... Social distancing. So... This coronavirus thing, man. I mean, I'm stunned. I I really am. I'm stunned. Because to me, and I know there's probably people like conspiracy theorists and and all that, but I'm not saying it's not real. It's not a it's not a real virus. It absolutely is, but a pandemic? No. No. To me this is punishment. To me, this is, this is the left, the globalists, that whole cabal. This is punishment for voting for Trump. They couldn't impeach him. They couldn't indict him. They couldn't take him out with one scandal after the next. The media couldn't lay a hand on him. And it's clear that none of these Democrat candidates and Dementia Joe aren't going to be able to lay a hand on them. <clears throat> the last card they have to play is the economy. It's the last card. And they're going all in. Because the worse the Democrats look, the more desperate they become. And that's why they have to do this. They have to try to tank the economy. They're like, after all this, after... Ukraine and Russia and everything we've done. You still gonna vote for them? Yep. They're like, okay, okay. We're gonna take hockey. You still gonna vote for them? Yep. No more hockey season. We're gonna take the NBA. You still gonna vote for them? Yep. We're gonna take March Madness, NCAA tournament. You still gonna vote for them? Yep. We're taking Major League Baseball. Still gonna vote for them? Yep. Taking the concerts. We're taking everything. You still gonna vote for this guy? Yep. They'll take football, they'll take the NFL, they'll take college, they don't care. They don't care. This is their final play to destroy the economy, but... You know, one of the few advantages the right has, and we have so few of them, because we really do fight like we claims. We let these people just walk all over us and get away from them and get away with this shit. You know, stay you know, above board or we're better people, which is just nonsense. 
the one advantage we have over these people is they are truly and in reality dumb they're dumb they're stupid people they're, they really are they're stupid people with very short term memories as most leftists and communists have because in pushing this pandemic and pushing all this nonsense all they're doing is validating everything Trump ran it on in 2016 about China and globalism and selling off our factory jobs <coughs> uh oh coronavirus you know these are the same people that told us we can't have, we can't manufacture things. You can't bring back industry here. This stuff is gone. And what Trump is trying to tell you, there are things, no matter what, you better manufacture it here. It's beyond national security. It's human existence. The people who put us in this position who sold off all our, our well-being and our security to China. I don't know what punishment is good enough for them. There isn't. There really isn't one. Like every day I see these numbers coming out, I'm just, I'm just shaking my head. And when you see these hospitals you know, complaining, these American hospitals complaining about their staffing or their equipment. Like this one hospital I was supposed to feel bad about in Queens, you know, the nurses are there kind of just, they're striking a pose in their, in their coronavirus garbage bags. Like, like this is fun. And I'm like, this seems like a game to me. Like this, this whole thing. But then you look at the hospitals and you can see how out of date our hospitals are, how worn down our infrastructure is, everything Trump's been talking about. So in that, so my point being is the advantage we have in it, with the left being so dumb is they end up proving Trump right and proving us right in, you're right there, Sparky. She's just doing stretches. And they end up tr proving Trump right, you know, out of desperation, out of Hail Marys, trying to throw Hail Marys to take this guy down, which they're never going to be able to do, which is very clear. So, <clears throat> that's really all I have on that. I, you know, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. The queue is relatively short, only got about seven stories in there. I'll be able to bang them out in a day. I got a two Skypes I got to set up with people um, and a private video, or two, maybe two private videos. So pretty short amount of stuff, you know. I've been having to keep my feet up, keep them elevated. But I honestly, as I'm walking right now, as I'm walking right now, I can feel my feet kind of circulating. It almost feels like the swelling is going down as I'm moving. So, you know, can't go to the gym. Gym's closed. Everything's closed. Charlene had to file for unemployment. You know, that sucked. Luckily, her restaurant, you know, stayed open till say, for St. Patrick's Day. So she was able to work St. Patrick's Day, get that St. Patrick's Day rush since she works for an Irish, an Irish pub. And then that was it. City shut down everything. Made everybody file for unemployment. And now we all just gotta wait for our Trump relief checks, which they're trying to screw up one way or another bailing out these businesses again. And there's another one. And there's another reason why the coronavirus. I think these industries needed a bailout anyway. And this is a perfect way to do it. <clears throat> also, don't forget, this is a census year. 
you know, we got signs all over this town. Census, April 1st, 2020. Oh, look, everybody's locked in their house. A lot of fuckery going on. A lot of fuckery. So, I'm here. I'm probably going to get back to videos in the morning. You know, go home, rest, shower, see how I feel. I'll get back to videos in the morning, as long as I don't swell back up again. Um, so if you want to get on the queue, the queue's pretty short. I want to thank everybody who has supported and does support this channel to make it what it is and help us, you know, and help out. And listen, we're all in this together. What, three and a half million unemployment claims last week alone? I mean, I get it. People are going to be... <laughs> You know, people aren't going to have money for this, that's for sure. When you got to figure out, you know, if you have to pay your rent, what utilities have to be paid, what's going to be shut off possibly, who's giving who a break, you know. They're talking about in Florida, giving like a four-month um, four rent, like landlord reprieve, where they'll bail out the landlord's. So you don't got to pay your rent and they'll pay the landlords and utilities. But who knows? I mean, we've never seen anything like this where the entire economy is shut down. They canceled every major sport to give up all that money. Over people, I mean, there's just hasn't been that many deaths. And I've even had some people who've communicated to me telling me that their family members have it or in the hospital, you know. That's terrible. And not to minimize it, but seems like they pulled through, you know? So somebody had a picture of one of their family members in the hospital. But here's the thing you gotta keep in mind as well. After a month and a half of the media test fear mongering and telling you how scary this is, <clears throat> are you gonna be more apt or less apt to go to the hospital? if you get really sick with like a bad flu or a bad virus, you're obviously gonna be more apt because, because, of, uh, because of the media. So just because you got people going to the hospital, it doesn't necessarily prove anything that it's actually worse than the normal flu because you've been fear mongering for two months. So of course people are gonna go and jam the hospital in the emergency rooms, so. All right, that's my, that's my spiel on that. I'm about halfway through the course. The mile course, though. We're at half mile now. They got all the, uh, the equipment marked off, like cautioned off that you can't use the jungle gym because of coronavirus, so. And again, I'm not making fun of it. I just don't think it's anything more, to be honest. I just think it's just another political weapon. After Trump beat China on trade, beat the globalists on everything else, could it beat the Democrats who have nothing to show for it? This is punishment. This is punishment. So, and you can't give in because they'll never stop. So, good to see everybody. You guys know what to do with the links in the description box. If you can't donate, because I, I understand that. We're all in the same boat. So, hope to hear from you soon. Thank you, everybody who sponsors and supports. And I'll see you. Stay safe. Take care, everybody. Bye.